Good morning and welcome to your daily weather briefing for Friday, August the 7th. We're seeing uh, another setup similar to what we saw yesterday across the region with a uh, stalled out frontal boundary and lots of humidity that will provide a uh, chance of some showers and thunderstorms later today and especially tonight and to the overnight period where we get a little bit more upper level support for some of those showers and thunderstorms to occur. Yesterday across the region we saw numerous showers and thunderstorms. About an inch of precipitation here recorded at Wallops. Taking a look at our uh, current surface analysis, you can see that frontal boundary at the surface just a little north to our area. Uh, we are seeing a little bit of upper level energy that is moving through now into the early afternoon hours that will provide us with a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm uh, throughout the afternoon today, but a better chance will come later tonight as we get a stronger impulse of energy that moves through the region. Looking at our upper level wind data from this morning's balloon release, that freezing level was at 13,100 feet. Our winds out of an easterly component at the lower levels of the atmosphere, right around 1,000 feet. And then we see a westerly component pick up at the 3,000 foot level. Seeing those winds increasing with height and turning a little bit more southwesterly in direction as we get up to 25,000 feet where we see a wind at 35 knots. I want to take a quick look at our radar this morning. You can see a few uh, showers that are passing off to our north through the Pocomoke region this morning. No lightning associated with those showers as of right now, but as we get into the afternoon, we'll start to see a little strengthening in some of the showers that begin to pop across the region, and we will see a uh, slight chance of some thunderstorm activity across the Delmarva later this afternoon. Again, a much better chance coming later tonight. Taking a look at our visible satellite imagery, you can see uh, covered with uh, mostly cloudy conditions this morning. Most of those clouds at the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere, and we're going to continue to see uh, mainly mostly cloudy skies as our predominant sky condition as we go into the afternoon today. We'll look at our short range model and what we can expect. Uh, some of the models with a little bit of disagreement as we go into the afternoon today as far as how much coverage we're going to see with the showers and thunderstorms but it does appear that we're going to see less coverage today than what we saw yesterday across the region where we saw numerous showers and thunderstorms throughout most of the afternoon today looks a little quieter um, and as you can see here on the model by 1 p.m. this afternoon really no showers and thunderstorms supported uh, by this short range uh, her model that we are looking at for this afternoon but as we get into the mid afternoon hours you start to see a little bit of convection pop across the region and I do think we will see some showers and thunderstorms across the uh, Delmarva as we go through the afternoon hours today. Most of the models are uh, in pretty good agreement for this evening as we get into the overnight period that we'll see a pretty good cluster of showers and thunderstorms begin to take shape and move towards the Chesapeake Bay later tonight you can see here about one o'clock in the morning some of those showers and thunderstorms across the northern portion of the region and then moving closer to the wallops area as we go into the early morning hours of saturday so during the overnight period i think that's going to be our best chance of seeing those showers and thunderstorms looking at the european model pretty much the same thing that cluster of showers and thunderstorms comes to us right around midnight tonight into the overnight period that'll be our best chance of seeing those showers and thunderstorms across the area as we get our best support uh, from the upper levels uh, with that energy coming through. By early tomorrow morning, by 8 o'clock, it looks like those showers and thunderstorms should be pushing off to the south and east, and we will see a quieter morning take shape for us uh, for Saturday, but there are some indications that we'll see a return to some pop-up showers and thunderstorms by the time the afternoon rolls around on Saturday. So it does look like we'll be under the gun for at least a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms uh, for tomorrow as well. As we uh, go through the extended period of our uh, model here on to Sunday, you can see still some indications that we could see a pop-up shower or thunderstorm across the region, especially during the central portion, across the central portion of the uh, Delmarva on Sunday and into Monday and Tuesday. Again, those diurnal chances for showers and thunderstorms still look to be the case. However, really no uh, large forcing mechanism uh, for Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, so our chances will be quite a bit lower as we go into the beginning of the week. As we get into Wednesday and into Thursday, we'll start to see a frontal boundary approach the region, and that will provide us with a better chance of showers and thunderstorms for Wednesday and Thursday of next week. 
with some uh, heat and humidity in store for us as well as we get to the middle to uh, late portion of next week. So for uh, our forecast for today, again, looking at our best chance of showers and thunderstorms being late tonight, closer to midnight you get, the better chance we'll see of those showers and thunderstorms occurring. Lots of moisture in the atmosphere and uh, those precipital water values, much like yesterday, pretty high across the area. So we will see the chance of some heavy rainfall with those showers and thunderstorms as they occur um, throughout the uh, afternoon and throughout the evening tonight. <clears throat> Again, uh, looking at our best chances tonight, looking at about a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after 11 a.m. today, then increasing those chances up to around 25% of thunderstorm activity after 1 p.m. And then a uh, better chance later tonight after 10 p.m. looking at about a 55 to 60 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms across the area. Looking at our seven day forecast, uh, total precipitation chances today about 60 percent. Again, better chance later in the evening tonight and into the wee hours of the morning on Saturday. Then after uh, we get through those round of uh, showers and thunderstorms late Friday night and early Saturday will settle down with only about a 25% chance for the remainder of the day for those showers and thunderstorms to occur uh, throughout Saturday. Looking ahead to Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, much lower chances, about a 15% chance each day of a pop-up shower or thunderstorm, mainly along the sea breeze boundary as it forms across the uh, eastern portions of the Delmarva and moves toward the central portions of the uh, Delmarva Peninsula throughout the day. Again, only about a 15% chance, not a, a widespread event for precipitation to occur uh, for either of those three days. But as we get into Wednesday and Thursday, we'll start to see the influences of that frontal boundary uh, providing us with increasing chances of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Look for a high of 90 degrees for Wednesday and, and then a high of 89 on Thursday. Well, that'll wrap it up for our uh, extended forecast here. We'll be back again Monday morning at 8.15 and at 10 a.m. Have a nice day.